Hello. How are you? I see your first and you liked it. Thank you. Wait one second. Uh, what channel is this? Is this my nomadic introvert channel? I do have a dreadlock channel. What channel is this guys? Can y'all tell me real quick? Is this the Nomadic Introvert uh, channel? Because I do have a Dreadlock channel. It's Nomadic? Okay. Thank you. I'm going to be going live for a few. Not too... Good morning. Good morning. I'm sorry I can't slow down uh, the comments. Again, I'm on my phone. Um, good morning, everybody. How are you doing? It is the Nomadic channel? Okay, thank you. Yes, Nomadic. Okay. Appreciate it, fam. How's everybody doing? It is random. I don't even know. If y'all know me, I go lie random. It's just be like, you know what? I got a few minutes. Uh, I don't know how to slow the comments down. I apologize in advance. I just want to come on and just thank you. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you um, just coming along with me on my journey. Um, I'm really, I'm preparing to leave really soon. Uh, everything is coming together. Um, I love you guys. You guys are extremely supportive, helpful. Uh, just thank you. Uh, you guys are awesome. It's a dreadlock channel, uh, Mountain Drew. I've, I've had it for a long time. I don't do uh, locks anymore, but it was an educational channel where I shared my dreadlock journey, gave tips, things like that. Uh, I'm excited to see you live. Thank you. It's okay. I, I, you don't have to, I appreciate the apologies, Ursula, but you know, I've learned that, you know what, when I lived in a house, I've, I had problems. Uh, it wasn't like this, but you know, I remember when I first bought my house, it wasn't even a year and my, uh, furnace and AC unit went out. Things happen. I'm just grateful that I'm still able to travel around. I'm still able to live in this um, this space, and I'm grateful for it. Um, I do have ups and downs, um, and I just I tackle it one thing at a time. I did realize that I bought this van during the pandemic, and it wasn't. It didn't dawn on me. Hello, this is pandemic, baby. You know, and um, during that time, you know. People weren't really working. People were quitting. Jobs were hard to come by. So I look at it this way. I'm knocking it one thing out at a time. And by the time I get done, I'll have a brand new van. I am still in Florida. Uh, my next video coming out will explain everything, guys. I'll let you guys know where my next date is. It's going to be a pretty good video. I do appreciate you guys more than you know. You guys are extremely supportive. I love each and every one of you, and I mean that. Uh, I go live so that we can build a sense of community. Thank you, Beat Girl, for the 10. Somebody gave me $1.99, and I really do apologize for missing that. Uh, Barbara, thank you so much for the $1.99. I just want to come on and just tell you guys how much I am grateful for you guys. You guys are so positive. When I do get negative comments, I know it's not my community members because you guys are freaking rock stars um y'all don't it's hard being a content creator uh, i have several people ask me you know i want to do it what does it take it just takes knowing your self-worth i won't even say thick skin because to say that it takes thick skin to have to be a content creator is to say that you have to accept what people are saying about you no just know your worth and whatever they say or whatever they have their opinions they have on your situation it just goes on in one ear and out the other you know, hi from Australia. How you doing, Leb? Ginger, how are you, Mark? What? How are you, Mark? You love my channel. Thank you. As far as the voice acting lessons, I'm not doing it no more. I uh, I have a couple more lessons, and I'm gonna end it there. It's extremely expensive, family. I really enjoyed the experience, but now I know I can learn on my own, which is a very good thing. Am I done with that? No. I could definitely see myself doing that on the road, uh, something to do, but uh, I'm not going to be paying what it what it uh, costs to do it. It's extremely expensive. You love my adventures? Thank you. Oh, you guys haven't seen nothing yet for adventures. 
just wait until I tell you the next state that I'm going to. It's, I'm super happy. That's why I feel like I'm rushing because I'm like ready to get started, but I'm going to wait. Uh, how's the generator? Uh, the generator. So what the mechanics told me, he said, and I don't know why they didn't think about this in the beginning. He said, the generator works like a married couple. You've got the generator and the inverter. They're a couple. If one goes out, the other goes out. So what happened was my generator went out and so did my inverter, but they didn't check the inverter. They just place, replace the generator just because it ran for 25 minutes. They gave it to me. I'm like, oh, your inverter is good. No, my inverter was bad. So we are, they are in the process of going back and forth with the warranty company. They submitted all of the work to the warranty company that said, hey, her inverter is bad. Uh, it works with the generator. We need to replace it. The warranty company got the stuff. They're like, hmm, we need more information. Send us this. So they send them what they asked. So now they're waiting for a reply. So it's all good. I'm not... I get a lot of the time people are like, oh, you got a lemon. Give that piece of crap back. No, this is not a lemon. Um, if you're a full-time RVer, you understand that what I'm experiencing, family, is actually very minimal. If you notice, if you check out my RV um, videos when I show you, I'm like, hey, guys, I'm here to get my RV worked on. Look at all those brand new class A's and all those fifth wheels parked out there. They're not there to get an oil change. These are van RVs that are hundreds of thousands of dollars that are even newer than mine that have more problems than me. It's just a part of the RV life. It doesn't matter. Um, so that's just, that's just how it is, you know? It is what it is. Um, this is definitely not a lemon. <laughs> Uh, I still love my van, zero regrets, and I'm just tackling it one thing at a time, and yeah. Give us a hint where you're going. I'll need bear spray. I know that's not really a good hint. Uh, family, can you do me a huge favor? Um, we got a lot of family members in here. Do you think you guys can get this uh, live to 500 likes? Uh, hurry back to New York, New Jersey. Oh, I've got that pizza on my mind. Oh my God, not a hint. It, I know. Okay, um, I can't, fam, if I give y'all a hint. Windshield appointment is in a couple days. I'll get my windshield replaced in a couple days. Yep, I, a huge rock hit my windshield in Michigan. I was just too lazy to get it done. The windshield will be done in a couple days. So before I hit the road, my windshield will be done. I wasn't going to do it. You're thinking Colorado? I don't know, Linda. Oh, you... I'll have to wait and see. Tennessee. I don't want to get an animal until I can get my RV to a point where I can trust it. There's a couple things I want before I get an animal. Of course, the generator is number one, but I want to get an alternative uh, air conditioning source, like an external air conditioner for cases like this. I just can't imagine. I can suffer. But what I can't do is watch an animal suffer uh, based off of my unpreparedness. I literally cannot. It would it would break my heart. And I don't. It's not like I have family where I can say, "Hey, can you watch my cat or dog while I suffer in this humidity?" I cannot have my animal suffer with me. So I need to make sure that I'm good before I get a pet. Is it Tennessee? I will. You guys will have to wait. Um, There will always be problems with vans, cars, house. Yeah, you got to think about it this way. Uh, cars are built to be driven every day. They're built to go over bumps and driving and day in and day out drive. That's what cars are built for. RVs are not. They're more recreational, right? So when they build an RV in mind, they don't think that you're going to drive it every day and travel in it every day. Maybe like a snowbird status. So, um, yeah. I'm not excusing the quality because, of course, they're, the, quali the, the, the stuff they use in here, not all of this stuff, but some of the stuff is like, come on, y'all could have done a little better with the quality. But again, I'm not fretting. I'm blessed to have this. This is my home. Um, I'm not going to give up on it. Like I said, if you're an RVer, you know what I've been experiencing since day one is not major at all. So I'm not about to stress about that. Kim. Kim's finally free. Thank you so much for the 20 bucks. I appreciate it. Are you going to get a Jackery? I am going to get a power station, but I, I don't want, and I know this is going to sound really horrible. 
I don't think I want a name, a, a, a no named brand. I don't think I want a big brand. Not to say I'm not going to get one. When I say big brand, you know, the big brands that are out there, Blue Yetis, Jackeries, EcoFlow, Anchor. I don't know if I want to, I'm trying to, I'm looking at the little guys and seeing what they have to offer. Merch is going good. I haven't really been promoting it like I should, um, but it, there is a link in my bio if you're interested in just taking a look. It's up to you guys. Thank you for your videos. Uh, they make me smile every time. Thank you so much, uh, Kista. I appreciate that. Hello from Netherlands. Ooh, how are you, Bells? Good morning from California. Hi, India doll. How are you? What's for dinner, Nomi? I have been uh, slowly, I'm kind of like on this health journey. I just want to be healthier. I want to, I want to live longer, right? I want to feed my body and fuel my body with things that are going to allow it to, to live them as long as it can without breaking down and stuff, because I do want to do this lifestyle for as long as my body will enable me. So I have been playing around with different recipes and uh, switching out things for, you know, in the place of rice or pasta. And one thing I've actually been really enjoying eating is, um, uh, what is that called? Um, uh, spaghetti squash spirals and butternut squash spirals. And I have been really playing around with that and I've been loving it. So something with doing something along those lines. You love to see me cook? Oh, Ginger, thank you. When are you coming to Arizona? Oh, I, I, Florida took the heat. I, I don't know, Florida's so hot. I gotta chill on Arizona for a minute. So y'all know I'm not going to Arizona. Niagara Falls in the house, your next destination. Is that what you think? Somebody said it, but I'm not going to say who said it and got it right. Morning from Detroit. Oh, I miss you, Michigan. Good morning, boss lady. Hello, Nomi. Awesome. Come to visit Southwest. I almost said something. I almost gave it away. I'm not. Hmm. Enjoy the content. Much love. I like now that we have more family members, I, I really, really do appreciate you guys. Um, I don't think you guys realize how much I appreciate the support and just your guys are, you guys are awesome. So thank you so much for the continued support. Florida is beautiful. Lived here my whole life. Florida is amazing. I just, the humidity, it's, 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 it's a lot. Smoky Mountains, Colorado. So I did get some good suggestions in the comments about like if I start hiking, you know, uh, things that I need to carry like the, or things that I need to have. They said get some boots for snakes, get a walking stick, bear spray. Of course, I already have bear spray, fam. I forgot I bought some in Michigan. So I do have bear spray. I don't have to buy that. Um, and also I want to and I'm going to not want to I'm going to invest in uh, one of those satellite phones that you can use for texting. So if I'm in an area where I don't have service. Um, I can have that if I'm always, if I'm, something's happened to me or I'm lost. I did buy two maps, uh, three maps. I bought an Atlas. So I've been going over the maps of the place I want to go to. I've been looking at that map and I bought two maps. I bought a map to the place that I'm going to next. And I bought a map to the place I'm going to after. If I show you the map fam, you guys are going to know where I'm going, but I will be filming today and showing you guys the maps. I need a map. I can't put my life in the hands of Garmin, even though it's satellite or GPS. I need a map. A locator device, please. Yes, absolutely. And someone brought up a good point, a foghorn. And I never thought about that. Bear spray is good, but foghorn. And they say get a bell, a bear bell, where you put it on you. And it's a bell that I guess bears don't like the sound. Do you ever plan on doing meet and meet ups with fam, fam members? Megan, I am the most awkward person in, 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 in person in, in real life. I'm going to have to have some guts and courage for that. Uh, I don't think I've built up enough guts or courage for that just yet. As if I'm making it seem like, you know, tons of people would come. I'd be really nervous if just two people would show up or just one. I'd be like, ah. get flares. I never thought about that. Yes, I will add that to my bag. I will add that to my bag. For New York City, what are your aspirations to your future plans, to road trip? Uh, thank you so much. I always take a bite when you offer. Thank you, girl. So you be the one that be taking bites, even though the food ain't that good. Good looking out. Thank you. Um, my ultimate goal and dream, of course, to travel the U.S., but I'm really considering. I've already got my passport. Hopefully it'll be there. Um, 
by the time I get to my new next state. But my goal is I want to go overseas. And um, van life overseas, uh, if I can, absolutely. Um, I do want to backpack overseas. And a big goal of mine is I, I'm looking at Japan or South Korea as my first destination. Linda, Linda, thank you so much for the 10. I, I wanted your first super chat, so thank you. I'm honored. Do you watch creative RVs, some problems, six to seven years? No, I haven't. I'll have to check them out. I live here in the Great Smokies. Just be sure someone knows where you are before you hike blue smoke. That's a good idea. I will share. I have, depends on where I'm at. I do share my location with my two best friends. Um, so they know where I'm at when I sleep and stuff. I do need a compass. I looked at that when I was at REI and your girl was cheap. I do need to get a compass. Absolutely. That is actually a fantastic idea. Headlamps. Yes, I got a couple of headlamps, uh, Letitia Henderson. Just like me putting random spices, hoping that it will taste good. You know what? That's how I find out what I like, you know? And I did find, let me show you the spice that I'm in love with. I'm actually head over heels in love with, and I've been using it for the last week. Let me show you. So I haven't used it in any of my videos because I wanted to test and see if it works because I am kind of getting burnt out with the spices that I am using. And I realized that your girl's getting old and my body's like, sis, okay, we can't handle you eating all of these hot spicy things. Sit show. I'm trying this. Umami seasoning umami you know your girl loves mushrooms it doesn't even taste like mushrooms i can't even describe the taste and it's zero everything zero fat zero calories zero carbs zero protein it just has sodium in it L uh, light wolf wow thank you for the 50 light wolf i appreciate it so um there is an app for that for what umami is amazing i've never even knew and i was just like I think I got this at Publix and I was just like, mushroom seasoning? Hold up. Let me um give it a try. And let me tell you, family, ooh, this stuff is so good. Yeah, I have no doubt the security measures you take are most uh are uh most appro appropriate, maybe a props. I am very security aware. Um, I didn't, I've been called paranoid in some of my videos, but it's okay. Because this paranoid has kept your girl alive uh, on the road for almost a year. It'll be a year next month. And I've seen some stuff. Um, the stuff you see when you sleep at different places. I've seen a couple in a all out. When I say, I thought this man was about to hit this chick. I was going to call the police and be like, this is where I'm at. You got a couple in the car and it's about to get physical. But you just, you see all kinds of stuff and you just got to be on your toes. And there have been plenty of times where I have parked for the night and my stomach didn't feel right. And I got up and I left. Your seasonings are the best. Thank you so much. Uh, La 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 Lona, Laona, Laona. Hi, I'm excited. I finally caught one of your lives. DJ Lard. Aw, thank you for being here. It means a lot to me. It's because you were in the military. Yes, um, I could tell you guys. Uh, thank you so much, um, Mary and Queenie. I appreciate the 10. I could tell you some stories in the military that will you wouldn't even believe that I was a part of. Like, I'll tell you this. This is what I will tell you. Um, I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> uh, there were plenty of times where I was supposed to uh, meet my maker uh, being overseas in Iraq. It was very, uh, but you know what? We were all out there and we made it together. A uh, couple people didn't come home, but they, you know, gave the ultimate sacrifice. But that's why I don't really, as I got older, I don't really take life. I don't really take, I don't know if this makes sense. I don't really take life too serious. It's like, Whatever it throws at me, I'll make it work. I'm not about to stress my heart. I'm not about to stress my mind, my spirit. I'll give it to God and keep it moving. Um, I know he's not going to put me through anything I can't handle. And what does he always say? Cast your burdens upon me. And that's what I do. Lord, it's me again. I'm stressed out and this is what's happening. I'm just going to leave it to you. And uh, hopefully it works out. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you for your son. Amen. And leave it at that. I used to be stressed out about everything and anxious and anxiety. Not anymore. Not anymore. Uh, there are a lot of things that have happened to me on this journey that were impossible that I was just like, 
like the lady told me your bathroom right now if it wasn't for her i would still be trying to get my bathroom fixed and she's like you're lucky i'm like no it's god like you don't understand when you find favor in him he's going to make a way for you yes it's going to be difficult the journey of getting things done it's going to be difficult but not impossible thank you so much uh doffy uh landsberg for the 20 i appreciate you yeah god didn't say your journey was going to be easy he didn't say he was going to make it just rainbow and butterflies but what he did say whether well, there's nothing impossible that he can't accomplish as long as you cast it upon him in the, the name of his son and recognize that you can't go through him without going through his son you can't just go to god and be like god help me and thanks god bye he forgot to mention his son <laughs> the one he sacrificed like he's not listening to you until you bring up his son So it's, 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 so when people are like, just give up, give that piece of crap away, sell it. No. <laughs> and I, I don't take offense to it. I just look at it as these are people that are not used to traveling that are not in the RV community because true RVers would be like, no, me, this is nothing like, this is minor. You got this girl, get it done and keep it moving. Copy. If you go to Japan during the cherry blossom season, yeah, Japan, yes. I think Japan is going to be first. I appreciate the ups and downs. I really do because it's definitely made me a stronger person. I stand up for myself more when it comes to these mechanics. Um, I feel like sometimes I don't listen because, and I hate to genderize everything or put a gender because I'm sure males go through this too, but it's less likely. No, just because, just like when I heard the noise with my generator, I told him, I know what I'm talking about. It, he kept wanting to say it was the air conditioner. I'm like, no, I know the difference. I know I'm a female basically thinking, but you're going to listen to me. And what happened after I'm like, well, okay, I'll just chalk it up to being the AC. Boom, cut off. They did more research. Boom, my inverter was bad. Okay, so I do know something. Hey, sweet butterfly. Call me Don White. Aw, oh, you love me? Oh, you're so sweet. Uh, Nancy Conway, thank you for the five. I appreciate you so much. Uh, so I just, this journey has definitely taught me to stand up for myself, be assertive. Uh, and Florida, I love Florida, but when it comes to getting your RV repaired, it's very, I wouldn't do it in Florida only because Florida is so overwhelmed with not only dealing with its residents, but they're dealing with snowbirds, travelers. So when, when, you, when people say, and it's funny when people say, wow, you're the only one that has a really bad RV. I'm thinking you must not call these RV dealerships when they're backed out two and three months dealing with other RVs. You must not be okay anyways. But what I got, what I, what I will tell you, fam, is don't let my mishaps uh, deter you from getting an RV. If you want one, get one. You know, take somebody with you and just be prepared. If you're gonna travel like me, um, if you're doing campgrounds, like if I was doing a campground and stationary, didn't really move around too much, I doubt that the problems that are happening now would happen this soon. Um, but if you really think about it, the only thing that I've dealt with in this RV are two major things, the generator and the propane. Remember propane in Michigan? So the propane was bad because I was when I was in Michigan during the winter times, all that salt corroded the wires. So they had to change the wire system out of the propane. Now I'm in Florida, I have zero propane issues. So your RV breaks down at certain points depending on what state you're in. Just like my, my shelf. My shelf was good in Michigan. I came to Florida. Florida's hot and humid. It expanded everything in here. So the shelf cracked because the screws were too tight and couldn't handle the expansion. It just depends on where you're at. Michigan, I was fine. So just keep that in mind. Oh yeah, Jay Colorado. I got me a four-year warranty. My plan. You're eating pizza. First bite goes to you. Trish, did you dip it in any kind of sauce? But anyways, I'll take it because you offered it to me. Thank you. Oh, you gave me your first bite. You know, that makes me smile. I do get people in the comments that say, hey, I'm eating this, but first bite goes to you. I think that is so freaking cute. Thank you, Trish. If I could afford an RV, I would definitely get one. I Don't let my mishaps deter you. Again, take a mechanic or a friend or somebody. It doesn't even have to be a mechanic, just a friend with a second pair of eyes. So you can see what I missed so you can get that taken care of. 
before you buy it. And also use my, my mishaps as when you go, if you decide to get an RV, that's what you want to check. You want to check the propane. You want to check the generator. You want to check the wiring. You want to see if there's any rust, right? Check the things that I didn't think to check because I was a newbie. Um, I bet you these uh, full-time RVers that are not on YouTube that just do it for a living, they check everything that I missed. And I bet you they wouldn't have missed what I missed because they do it. That's their lifestyle. I'm new to the game, but I bet you I will not make the same mistakes again. Yes, amen, his son. I love hearing from fellow YouTubers. I knew I loved your channel. I am also a firm believer in Jesus Christ. Amen, Crystal. Thank you so much for the five. I think with when it comes to religion, I just think and I am I just think that a lot of people that are in positions to preach their faith don't because we just live in a society where it's you can't really talk about stuff like that. But in my mind, I, I, I'm like this. If my channel takes a hit, then so be it. I cannot change who I am. And I'm not about to give glory to luck when I know the glory goes to God. So that's just me. If my channel takes a hit, then so be it. Why I love the live. It's Halo. It's uh, it's Hello Halos. Uh, me prepare. I missed it. Dang it. Jean Singleton Stewart. Thank you so much for the ten. There are. I realize there are people out there that want to hear stuff like this every once in a while, and it's 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 comforting and it's encouraging to know that people that you watch on YouTube, um, you know, believe in a higher power, believe in God. Now, as far as different. Religions, Baptist, Protestant, I don't get into that. Uh, you know, I don't put, I don't say that I'm Baptist. I'm this not to knock anybody. If that's what you believe in, then power to you. You believe in what you believe in. But for me, I just uh, believe in God and I talk to him through his son. That's how, that is uh, what I have been learning through my spiritual journey. Uh with my brother who has been, you know, very uh, instrumental and helpful in, in getting me this, to this far. Because if you, the old me, I wasn't like this. I was uh, not receptive to God. I didn't want to hear about it. I just believed in higher power. Leave it at that. Don't talk to me about nothing else. I don't care. Whatever. Oh, God, this. Here we go. Talk, talk about God again. Not any, It's different now. And, um. Yeah, I don't want to get too personal into what changed and all that, but I, I thank my brother. I, I thank him because because of him, he didn't give up on me, and uh, that's where that. Yeah. Do you prefer to travel alone? I do. Um, am I open to talking with others on the road? No. I, I or yeah, I'm open. Girl, get it together. Yeah, I'm open. Uh, it's just, I get this a lot, and I'm glad you brought this up, but I get that, oh, you're an introvert. Uh, how are you doing YouTube? Just because I'm an introvert doesn't mean I'm not capable of doing YouTube or talking to others. Because I've met some fantastic people along my journey. And let me tell you, Florida gets a bad rep because of politics. But politics aside, Florida got some cool people. You know what I'm saying? Look, look. These Southern boys, man, let me tell you, Florida got some down to earth, cool, cool guys, man. I've met some cool guys. I've met guys from early 30s, well up into 80s plus. And let me tell you, Florida got some cool dudes. Let me tell you, the, I've talked to so many cool people and they, Florida. So I always say this, don't judge people based on politics. Get to know the person first. Go to the state. Don't just sit back and judge based off what you see. Have you ever been to Florida? Okay, so how do you know the people are like whatever you see in the news? Exactly, thank you. Like, go to Florida, meet these people. <laughs> Love your channel, God bless. Thank you, Kimberly D for the 10. Uh, like I said, one guy I met when I was at the spring, he was with his father, and I knew they were father, so they looked just identical. The dad was like in his late, early 80s, and his son was in his 50s, early 50s. And um, at the end of our conversation, he was like, you're a cool chick. And I've heard that from a couple of guys. He's like, you're a cool chick. He goes, you know, as a matter of fact, he goes, if you're ever in the Carolinas, I've got some couple properties in North Carolina and you're more than welcome to plug in, uh, stay on the property. I've got some land out here in Florida, uh, 20 acres. Like he was a cool dude, gave me his number and everything. He said, if you're ever out here, just look me up. Just say, hey, remember me? I'm the girl from the Springs. I'm in North Carolina at your property. Da -da -da. He'll say, just go ahead. 
stay as long as you want and plug in. I was like, okay. Um, one person does not determine the whole population. You are right, Lori, but I've been in Florida since March, which is not a long time, but I, I, you know, and let me tell you this. I'm glad you brought that up. I used to have it in my mind that small towns were just because of my experiences from Texas and dealing with small towns. Small towns are just full of racist people, and I'm just going to go through small towns and keep my head down if I have to get out. I went to a small town here in Florida. If you sneeze, you'd miss it. Uh, Bushnell. They got some of the coolest down-to-earth people I have ever talked to, ever. Bushnell, Florida. Like, just so warm and just, hey, sugar, hey, sweetheart. Like, you just feel like they just talk to you like a family member. It's, it's, it's not just one person. It's Florida as a whole. And these are not people that are coming to Florida like me. These are Florida natives. So no, you're, yes, you're right. One person doesn't determine a whole population, but my whole point is don't base a whole population based off one person or one group of people. You have to get to know them first. Hey, Martha, thank you so much for the 20. Now I'm not saying Florida's perfect. Of course, every state is gonna have their bad people. Of course, but let's not judge based off what you see on the news small towns are very nosy i could never live in a small town no you can't do nothing everybody gonna know my whole point is florida got some good people and florida's been in the news a lot we all know why whatever we're not going to get into it you know do what you have to do in order to feel like your needs are being met uh through voting but you can't base your what you see on the news off and just say that all Floridians are like that or all Floridians support that you you don't. It's a different atmosphere once you come here and actually talk to the people and get to know people. Hi, how are you? Brenda Connor, I'm good and how are you? Hello, sweetie, love your videos, lots of love. Thank you so much. Uh, Shahana, I hope I said that right. Ay, Dios mios. <laughs> Ah. every state has blue and red no state is completely blue yeah without getting too much i'm not going to get into the political side i just say that just get to know the people of every state every state has good people you know don't let the bad apples ruin your perspective of the state you know florida is just i've i've had i have nothing but good things to say about florida i can't recall one bad experience that i've had in florida with anybody i literally cannot you're an introvert. You don't go out. I get out a little bit. I go out during the day. You know, I, I do my thing. I talk to people. How tall are you? You know, your girl is short. I am 5'1". Texas. I, I grew up in Texas. Um, Texas. I, back in my day, I loved Texas. I love dealing with the people. It's the wild, wild west. Now, Texas is something different, but... Um, I love Texas. Texas is my home, but uh, I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. I'm a French black introvert, and I love your content. Thank you so much. I know Ebony ain't laughing at me because I said I was five. What do y'all think? I'm six feet walking around here comfortably? I am 5'1". How do you think I'm able to stand up? Uh, Hunter, thank you so much for the five. I wish I could pronounce your first name. I would butcher it if I even try. Uh, Tiffany, you're in Dallas. I love Texas. I spend a lot of time, um, in Austin. Um, I like San Antonio. Uh, Diane, thank you so much for the two. I appreciate it. Um, one second. There we go. Are you coming to Niagara Falls? I am at some point. You're near Austin. Austin is party now. Party, party. I saw a van that looked like yours the other day. It was like, oh my gosh, she drove all night. She drove all night. I don't drive at night. Um, I try to be where I'm at for the day uh, in a place where it's nice and sunny. I try to do it when it's bright out. I don't try to move at night. Karen Edwards, thank you for the three. Come to Hawking Hills, Ohio. I like Ohio, but uh, when I had... <laughs> When I had my Michigan uh, plates in Ohio, I always got nervous the cops would pull me over just because I am not an Ohio State fan. You thought I was 6'5"? No, I'm 5'1". I've said that from the beginning. 
Thank you, uh, Ghost420. Let's represent our five feet people. Come to Oklahoma. I do want to go through Oklahoma. Um, there is one thing I do want to see. How does it feel to be YouTube famous? I'm literally not YouTube famous. Like, I am <laughs> so far from it. It's not even funny. Nah, YouTube famous, no way. Uh, what's your uh, astronomical sign? I've never been into stuff like that. I mean, if you're asking if I'm a, I'm a Leo, is that what you're asking? Like, I hope that's what you're asking. Same height, thank you. 411, okay, thank you. Would you ever go to Minnesota? Yes, I heard Minnesota, it's very nice. Yeah, I'm not tall, Stacy. I that's how I'm able to kind of move around and be comfortable because I'm so short. Hey, Nomi, where do you get your hoodies? Uh, there was a place in Michigan. I can't think of that. It's at uh, Briarwood Mall. They do custom hoodies in Briarwood Mall. That's all I could give you. I can't remember the name of the store. What's on your shirt? This is uh, Tom Brady and his uh, favorite uh, wide receiver. What's up, Tracy? New York in the house. Come visit New Orleans. If I come, it's gonna it's gonna be for the seafood. I know y'all get down. You are an amazing host, dear. Thank you so much. PA in the PA in the fall is beautiful. I bet it is. Oh, Dad is a little irritated. I can see your comments, Alex Alexa Clark Hill. How are you? Four eleven, Tina. So you you feel my pain. I love Washington State. I was stationed in Washington State, Fort Lewis, Washington State. They say it's not Fort Lewis anymore. It's some, called something different. But I was stationed there for four years. Mount Rainier, I've been this Mount St. Helens, Vancouver, Canada. I can't even count how many times I've been to Vancouver, Canada, just partying when I was 19. Canada knows what's up. Canada knows how to party. Woo. I loved Canada. Never went, I think I went through Oregon. Oregon was expensive back in the day, and I'm sure it still is. 5'2 this way. I wish I was 5'2. I'd take an extra inch. Oh, 5'3 would be even better. What happened to your voice lessons? Um, I got a couple left and I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to do no more. I enjoyed the experience, but it's just too expensive to keep up. It's way too expensive. And to really take advantage of it, I would have to do like at least six months. And that is a lot. Joint Bass Lewis McCord. Is that what it's called now? Oh, uh, this live will not get left left up. I'm sorry. I know you guys like it when I leave up lives. It just, it just, it, I'm just, this is just a random kind of spur of the moment kind of thing. You ever think about getting a dog or a cat? I have. Uh, so far, cat is on the top of my list. It could go to dog, but I'm feeling cat. But then someone brought up a good point about the litter box. And you know me, I can't do all that litter. I don't know. I can't do litter. I don't know. I'm retired VA employee. Write your recent experience in the VA, Florida VA. Okay, most definitely, Billy. Uh, tch, tch, tch. Girl, you are an inspiration. Love watching your... Oh, thank you, Billy, for the five. Girl, you're an inspiration. Love watching your vlogs. Keep up the bites of food. It's all yummy. Thank you, Marie. Marie, thank you so much. We're enjoying the lives. Thank you. Yeah, the litter. I just... I, I don't know. I'll be eating and then the cat stomach is hurting and uh am i i can't do it that's gonna spoil my appetite litter ain't bad it's only scoop two to three times a day no smell that's true you could try and use the toilet i could but do i want to clean the toilet do i want to empty it out oh you love my vlogs thank you so much denise i appreciate you hi for new mexico what's up priscilla Dogs are easier, though. Yeah, and they are an extra source of protection. How long were you in the service? Just four years. I was in the service four years from 2001 to 2004. You look great. Thank you. I was supposed to uh, get a can, get a cat less maintenance. Yeah, and they're also independent. Dogs get depressed. They need that constant connection. You love rewatching my lives. I know. This is one I just, I don't know if I'm going to keep up. I just, I feel like, uh, Kahim Jones, thank you for the five. I don't know. If, I feel like if it's not, if I didn't plan it. Uh, Teresa, I know I didn't. Yep, FF Teresa, thanks for the 10. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Um. So, yeah, I'm a little hot right now. I've got the window down. Oh. But I'm used to it. 
just uh, nothing I can't handle. If you watch my videos during the eating part, if you make it that far, um, it the last couple of videos, it has been dark in here because I don't have a generator and I'm trying to preserve power and I don't want to kill my battery. So I'm sorry that it's a little low lighting, but once we get the generator back on, which we should do here in the several the next couple days, I should be back on track and I'm on track to still leave uh, the end of May. I'm still on track to leave by May. I, not, nothing look your girl's making it work so sorry about the the lighting towards the end where i'm eating i just want to preserve power so i don't put on as many lights i'm doing it now because i have solar and the solar is constantly being charged so i can brighten it up in here or whatever the battery's not going to drain it's fine okay i'm with you glory to god amen what happened to the generator? My generator died and the inverter died. So they replaced the generator but forgot to check the inverter and the inverter is bad. So now they're going back and forth with the warranty company and the warranty company, they submitted all the paperwork to say, hey, the inverter's bad. The warranty company saw it and they're like, we need more, send us more, send us this. So thankfully they didn't have to call me in. They already had what they needed on hand. So they sent them that and now they're waiting for a final response. The guy said they can give two responses. First response, replace the whole inverter. He says if they give that response, you're in luck because they do have the inverter in stock at the shop. They can do it that day. It'll be quick. He says, hopefully they don't say repair it. If they say repair it, you're out of luck because we got to order the parts. So let's just cross our fingers and pray for replace. Oh, amen, Cynthia. Never doubted that. Portable AC, definitely. If I had a portable AC, your girl would be still good because I'd be like, you know what? Oh, I almost said the state I was going to. Woo! I'd be like, you know what? I'm going to this state. I'll just take care of it there. I got my portable generator. I'm out of here. They do. Uh, the mechanics take care of me. They are. They, they are very patient with me. They explain everything to me. The guys over at Commons have been nothing but really nice and sweet. They've been keeping me up to date. They've been telling me, asking, answering all of my questions. And I'm learning too. I'm writing all this stuff down and I'm learning. I, I know how to take care of my undercarriage. I know what to look for. Things like that. Like I'm learning to kind of do my own thing. The air filters fam, I know how to do my own air filters. I looked them up on YouTube and I'm like, I could have done it. Why did I pay? But now nah, I won't be paying next time. Go to Texas. I can't handle no more heat, Jewel. I can't. Florida is it for me. Florida took everything out of me. Uh, uh, Shannon Vester Jackson, thank you for the 20. I appreciate it. A dog is still easier. You can just take them outside and bathroom. Yes. The only thing about dogs is not everybody. You can't take a dog everywhere unless it's a service animal. So I have been thinking about, you know, that getting a serve, turning, getting a dog, training it for service animal purposes. I thought that has something that has crossed my mind. So Florida has heat and wildlife. Yeah, I always call everything wildlife. You guys made me laugh. Someone was like, look at Nomi calling that lizard wildlife. Isn't it wildlife? The lizard is out in the wild. It's wildlife. Carrie, L, thank you for the three. The humidity is what it is. What it is. Come to Pakistan. Ah, woo. I don't think I can, uh, it's not a good time to come to Pakistan. It's not a good time. I, although I would love to. I'd love to visit all the countries. Egypt is on my list to go. I want to visit all the countries if I can. Emotional support dogs too. Family, can we get this live to a thousand likes? I would appreciate it so much. It's wildlife, right? <laughs> but I got, I laughed. I'm like, dang, girl, you call everything wildlife. I don't know, lizards? Everything's wildlife. What's up from DC? I definitely want to go to DC so bad, but it is, it's going to take me in the other direction. So I thought about going to DC and then coming back and going where I want to go, but it's like, uh, I do, I do want to go to DC so bad. I've been to DC before, but I want to go back. Have you traveled to Texas? I'm from Texas, Nicole. You ever oh wow fam thank you for the likes thank you so much will you ever go back to the military i think i'm too old yeah i'm too old i'm 40 i think the cutoff is what what's the cutoff what's the was it 41 something like that i'll be 41 this year know me you are our greatest and i love your bravery and love you and how are you would love to meet you i've met uh Several of you guys uh, out in public, you guys, I've, several, I've met some, I got recognized at the Bucky's. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, 
yeah, I really enjoyed uh, talking to you guys. Uh, I was a little bit awkward. I apologized in advance, but it's okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> do a meet and greet. Um, I got to build up the courage for that. Have you been to upstate New York by Syracuse? No, I have not. I want to go to, if, if go to New York, it's going to be for Niagara Falls. But I just gave away another clue. It's not New York. Someone said it, but uh, you'll have to wait and see the video. Pure Joy, thanks for the 10. The question is, what made you, what made you move to Michigan? Um, the school. Uh, I went to the University of Michigan, the school, the college. Ryan Hall said it's going to be a hot summer up north this year. Oh, very hot and dry. I'll take hot and dry over hot and humid. What up, Thrifty Simplicity? How are you? Victoria Alvarez, know me. I absolutely love your channel. Stay safe out there. God bless. God bless you. Thank you so much. And what she, you made me think of something. Uh, I get the question, man, I, it, I'd be so scared to like be on my own and do this. It's not as bad as you think. Um, when you're out on the road, you'd be surprised at how many people live in their cars. Now that I've been out on the road almost, it'll be a year next month, I can spot the people that live in their cars. I'm like, you live in your car, you live in your car, you live in your van, you definitely live in yours. You, it's just, you can see it. There's so many people. It's like a community and it's unspoken. You just see it. Western Michigan University over here. Yes, yes, Michigan in the house. I miss Michigan. I get the question too, why move to Florida if you're just going to leave Florida and travel? Florida's a home base, right? Um, I could have stayed in Michigan if I wanted to use my friend's address, continue to use a friend's address or anything like that, but no. I wanted to do it on my own, so I came to Florida under domicile, right? Um, so when I, when I leave to travel, I'm still going to be considered a Florida resident under domicile purposes. Um, that's not going to change uh, just because I'm leaving to travel that doesn't mean I'm no longer a Florida resident. Katrina from Oz, thank you for the five. Um, only time that'll change is when I buy buy property or a tiny home or whatever I decide to do. Uh, mo it definitely won't be in Florida just because of the heat and humidity. I just literally cannot do the humidity. Um, I can't. <laughs> and then the wildlife that y'all have, I can't handle it. Burmese pythons, black panthers, bears. Uh, Y'all, Florida's the animal kingdom. I'll just just leave it at that. <laughs> uh, combat combat soldier, thank you for your service from a veteran in Raleigh, North Carolina. Drive on soldier, drive on soldier. Most soldiers get awarded a hundred round here. Nomadic, thank you so much, and thank you for your service. Thank you, thank you for your service, and thank you for the ten. Yeah, I was told Florida has black panthers, so y'all have everything. I can imagine leaving my RV. Let's say, for instance, I buy a piece of property in Florida, a piece of land. I wake up in the morning, I stretch, ugh, open my door, get out, look at around, this, look at the surroundings, and I drop something, and I go to pick it up, and I see a 14-foot alligator under my van just for shade. You got me messed up. I ain't doing it. I'm scared. I definitely want to come to Hawaii before I start my overseas travels, for sure. BLM lands, Anita Williams, is just federal lands. It's lands that you can camp on, federal, federally owned lands, Bureau of Land Management, federally owned lands that you can camp on for free. But every 14 days, you have to reposition yourself on that land, I think 150 to 100 yards, and then you can stay another 14 days. And these aren't like trashy lands. These are beautiful lands. Speaking of trash, if uh, uh, Lonnie, thank you for the two. If you're doing van life and you're out on these campgrounds or just national lands or federal lands, please don't leave trash. I can't tell you how many times when I went to the Springs um, in that small town, I picked up three water bottles, a trash bag, some lids, you know, just take your trash with you. Let's try to keep and preserve nature and keep it beautiful. Please, please. Uh, so I, I'm, I don't show it on camera, but I do pick up trash. I do. every. I try. I, I try to take a bag with me, but if not, I just pick it up, take it, throw it away, and then wash my hands. Um, but please, please, and if you do camp and you see trash, just please pick it up. I know you didn't do it, but let's just kind of, let's just keep nature clean, please. 
Kimberly Stewart, thanks for the 10. Continue to live life to the fullest. Many of us are living through you all. Thank you, Kimberly. Uh, somebody else gave me. Uh, Carol C., thanks for the two. Uh, safe travels. Thank you. I would love to see. Ah, uh, Riley Riley, thanks for the five. It's your first super chat. I'm honored. Thank you. I would love to see a lot of you guys out on the road. Um, I talked to one of the mechanics at the uh, Cummings place. And he told me, he was young, I, I didn't ask his age, but I, I'm assuming late 20s. He said he, he's always wanted to do like van life and stuff and live in a van. And I told him, I said, just start by living in your car, whatever you have right now. Just start there. Um, maybe on your first day off, just go somewhere and pick somewhere to stealth camp just to see how you would like it. You don't always have to just dive in. First, test the waters to see if it's something that you could do. Are you going to Wyoming? No. I like to pick up trash in my neighborhood on the walks. Yeah, when I used to uh, live in a house, it, it made me so mad if I come out and see like trash in front of my house. I would always pick up trash if there was trash in front of my house. I'm always picking it up, always picking. Just in, I just cannot, like I can't. Um, uh, Don, Donnell, I hope I said that right. L love, thanks for the five and it's your first. I'm honored, thank you. Do you plan on going to San Diego? I do. I plan on going to California, but California is not going to be my next stop, but it will be my, mm, I almost said, if I would have said this part, you guys would have probably got what state I was going to. California is not the first state, but I do plan on going. I want to go up that, uh, that, what is that? The Pacific, um, the Pacific highway, right? Is that what it is? Pauline Patterson Wiley, thank you for the 20. I appreciate it. I will tell you guys in my next video, I promise. Uh, Ellie Bells, thank you for the 11 euros. Thank you so much. Pacific Coast Highway. There it is. Yes. And I've already pulled up the map of the Pacific Coast Highway. And I already know, I've already marked what spots I want to stop along the way. They said parts of the Pacific Coast Highway is blocked off due to... Uh, Due to fires, I think they said it's blocked off. I don't know, Ram. You you got to wait and see. Every day with Cha-Cha. Thank you for the nine, and thank you for your support. I do see you in my comments a lot. Baja Queen, Colorado. You might, you might be right. You might be wrong. You'll have to wait and see. Ooh, I'm hot. Vegas. Vegas is hot right now. I don't know if I can do Vegas right now. Hey, from Scotland. How are you, Lindsay? Rain and landslides. Lori, is that why it's part of it's blocked off? Don't forget UK and England. Oh, I've been to England before. Well, through the military. Um, we only did we we only stayed like a day and we couldn't go far out. We couldn't go too far out from the airport. But the little parts that we did go, England is so beautiful. Yeah, Vegas, I can't do it right now. I can't. I'm like, Florida has really uh, tested my resolve. Like, if you can handle Florida in, the, <laughs> in a van or a car in the summer, you are one OG. Pacific Coast Highway. I, I thought about doing that first. And where I'm going, it wouldn't make sense. But... I, I'll just say this, and if you get... If you get it right where I'm going, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to acknowledge. I'm not going to confirm. Uh, I will say this. It would be right. It would be cool to go. What reason why I don't do the Pacific Coast Highway right now is because where I'm going, when I decide to come back to Florida uh, next year or whenever I decide to come back, I want to take it going um, down, going south. I don't want to go up it north. I want to go come down it south from like Oregon or Washington State going down. They say it's better that way because you face the ocean going south as opposed to going up the north. Makes sense? So where I'm at and the places I'm going to be chilling at for the summer, I'm going to come back down it. Oh, bodily fluids, good vibes. No, good Lord. I'm sorry you didn't experience that. Uh, drop your cash app. Um, No, it's okay. Let's just hang out. It's okay. Um, I appreciate it, though. Thanks for, you know, recommending it. 
Trish, thank you for the five. Peace and love. Blessings. God got you through the ups and hey, you know. Amen. Yes. Uh thank you. I am uh Nat Nat Nadine. I hope I said that right. I am Nadine. Oh, I mess I'm sorry. Thanks for the 20. I hope I didn't butcher your name. Uh thank you. Uh made Mm. Ooh, CM1, thank you so much. I'm sorry. Thank you for the three, CM1. Ooh, I'm butchering. I cannot. Kimmy Jones, thanks for the five. First time in the chat. Love your channel. And your subs got to go. Everyone have a fantastic day. Thank you. Have a great day. Anita Harris, thanks for the 10. Blessings and safe travels. I appreciate it. I found the candid bacon season at Publix. They have it? I had what? Because I bought that in Michigan. But... I haven't tried it yet. You make the food look so good. Someone said, why do you want a steak to taste like bacon? Bacon? Duh. <laughs> I know that's weird. And people are like, you want your steak to taste like bacon? It's just not bacon. It's sweet, succulent bacon. It's so good. It's, it's not just bacon, salty bacon. No, it's sweet bacon. Are you married? No, I do wear a ring when I go out sometimes just so I can just, uh, be, you know, Bam, I'm sorry. My phone overheated. My phone overheated. It's that hot in Florida. So I'm up front. Sorry. Oh, my phone overheated. Can y'all see me? Yeah, my phone overheated. My phone overheated and iPhone was like, it's too hot. So it, it kicked me off. Sorry. So now I got you guys on the AC. One second. My phone overheated and uh, iPhone was like, sis, it's too hot in here. And it cut, it cut me off. I'm sorry. So sorry. I'm trying to cool y'all off so it doesn't do it again. Whoa. I'm sorry. It was too hot. The phone was like freaking hot. I love you. I'm sorry. I wear a ring just because for protection, people are less likely to approach as if anybody is approaching me for any kind of dating uh, request. Please. They look at me and go to instant judgmental mode. Tracy Threat, thanks for the five. Thank you. But I still wear it. Hey, Jehovah. Uh, Gregory, how are you? Alan, how are you? Why the Greek yogurt and steak? <laughs> because Greek yogurt doesn't have a flavor. It takes on whatever flavor you give it. If I wanted to make the Greek yogurt into a sauce and put it on my steak, people wouldn't, if I didn't tell you it was Greek yogurt, you wouldn't know. You just want to try it. But I'm too lazy to put stuff in it to make it a sauce. So I just eat it plain. You're my favorite YouTuber. Rachel, thank you. People gave me crap about it. They're like, Greek yogurt and steak? What? All right, I try not to move you guys around too much. People were like, Greek yogurt and steak? Oh, no. You are... I'm calling the police. Someone said, I'm calling the authorities. Nomi tried to give me Greek yogurt and steak. <laughs> Somebody said, we're going to call the police on me. Any of you use a lot of yogurt in their dishes? I bet, and I bet it's so good too. Someone told me they're calling the police on me because I offered them a piece of steak with Greek yogurt. I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna stop. Sending love from Jacksonville, Florida. Hey, what's up, Latasha? You like blue cheese on steak? I try blue cheese. It tastes like socks. I'm sorry, I'm holding my phone. Uh, let's. I'm gonna have to back in and. Cause I don't want y'all to see my location because it's live. All right, let's back in. We're just going to leave the band on. So there we go. Let's get the tripod. Sorry, let's set you guys back up. There we go. See, I'm 5 1. I'm short. Your channel if I care to leave you on thank you. 
I can't believe there's still a lot of family members left after I cut off. You guys are so amazing. Did I miss any chat? I, yeah, I didn't know. I got so much crap for Greek yogurt and uh, steak. I am sure I'm five one. Now I'm able to walk. Yeah, I've ran into several of my subscribers, um, our family members, community members. They've been very, very sweet, um, very respectful. Didn't want to take too much of my time, which I didn't mind. Talking. Archives, thank you for the 10. I appreciate it. Enjoy the journey, absolutely. It's been definitely one I'll never forget. Is it stuffy now? It's not stuffy. I don't know if it's intentional, but you are losing weight. Thank you. Yeah, it, it's intentional. I just changed my eating habits. Um, I cut a lot of the junk food out. I don't really eat sugary stuff anymore. I cut back on carbs. I still eat carbs, carbs. A lot of eat carbs. You're going to cover the air and all this. All the stuff, but I cut back on it. You know? You can't hear me, it's muffled. Am I muffled? No, my van is on so that my phone doesn't cut my phone because it is, uh, it is, uh, hot. What do you have for lunch? My mom's gonna be one size dinner. Sorry, hold me. Nope, it's not the AC. You guys are in my van. Can you hear me now? Thank you. Uh, love the channel. Uh, very authentic. Thank you so much for the 390. Yeah, sorry. You guys were inside my van and the Bluetooth was on. All right. Every time I go live, it's a hot mess. I can never just have a perfect live. It's always something. I'm so sorry. It's just a hot mess every time I go live. You were inside my van, uh, the Bluetooth. Are you really happy? Happy is an emotion uh, that comes and goes. What I will say is I'm content. I am very much content with my life. I wasn't, but I am um, feeling much better about my life. I don't um, associate, and this is weird, but I don't associate my life with emotions such as happy, sad. I just, I'm content. Uh, once I stop being content, then that, that's a problem for me that I got to figure out. So right now, I am truly content with my life. Like, I am, I am good where it's at, um, where it's going, even with the ups and downs. What's on my shirt? Tom Brady and his uh, wide receiver. We have been on for a little over an hour. I will stay on for about five more minutes. I know typically I say I'm getting off, but this time I am. I have a lot to do today. I'm not doing, I got a couple more voice acting lessons. Thanks Katrina from Oz for the three, thank you. Um, and then I'm done. It's really expensive to upkeep it, but now I know what I have to do to train my voice. I might even submit a few auditions, who knows. Dear host, your voice is sweet. Oh, thank you, Raina, Chef International. Colorado is a great place to visit. Oh, is it? Really? Is it? So another 30 minutes for the live? Nah, probably another couple minutes. I love your voice too. It is so calming. Cheeto puffs. I have an obsession with Cheeto puffs. Let me tell you, I can eat a whole bag of Cheeto puffs, like the big bag in like one day. I stay away from it. Susie, thank you so much for the five. 
Cheeto puffs and Oreo cookies. That's the weight of my heart. Mm, mm, mm. I, I don't buy either one because I know if I buy it, it's, oh, it's over. I'm going through the whole pack and bag in like two days. I'm doing very well today. Um, I don't let things get me down. I just deal with it. Chocolate chips for me? Uh-uh. Oreo. Now, if it's chocolate chip from a bakery, it's over. Bro, I was eating them when I created the username. <laughs> I love the username. But my favorite chip, Cheeto Puffs. If that is even, is it a chip? How do I get a map? You buy maps at REI. REI has every a map for everywhere. Dang near everywhere you want to go. And I got an atlas too. I'll show you. One second. Ouch. One second. If you're a full-time traveler, you need this. It has maps of every everywhere. Road maps. It's everywhere. Everywhere. South Florida, North Florida, everywhere. Aw, Lisa, I'll be back at some point. Um, I'll do another live. I don't know when. And our REI has a lot of good maps. So if you ever are looking for a road map, they have road maps to all the major national parks in the United States, the big ones. Um, they have road map, an atlas where you can get road maps to the major cities in every state. So I would definitely go to REI for that. Love the airboat episode. It was, I had so much fun. Do you worry about your financial needs while only doing YouTube? No, I don't. I don't. Um, I put myself in a position if, like I said, I'm very grateful and just blessed that the, what I do make on YouTube is good enough for me to pay my bills and I don't have to touch my savings or my emergency fund. But let's say YouTube, it just doesn't pay its creators and something's going on with YouTube and we don't get paid. I can just dip into my emergency fund and take care of my bills without touching my savings. So I try to have a backup to the backup. Uh, that's something you definitely want to consider. And you want to cons and I have a car fund. So I have a car fund, an emergency fund, and a savings. So if my van goes down, I just pull from the car fund to fix it. Um, if, I, if it's not covered on a warranty. And if YouTube stops paying me, I just dip into my emergency without touching my savings. Uh, that's something you want to consider when you do full-time van life. Don't just quit your job. Make sure you have a plan. What are you reading now? Valis. I am looking at the state that in which I want to go to and I want to make sure I know what I'm doing. I'm not a very good roadmap reader, but I'm using Florida as a way to learn how to read it better. And it's been helping me. It's been helping me. So this is what I've actually been studying. Because when it's all said and done, when your GPS doesn't work or the battery doesn't work or someone steals it or it's broken, you got to know where you're at. So my goal is no matter where I'm at, I'm going to pin it on this atlas, put a dot so I know where I'm at. So if something happens, I know how to get myself out by using this. I love your channel. You have a beautiful personality. Pursuit of happiness with Debbie. Thank you so much. Great wisdom. Very smart about your finances. Yes, I, I built up, you know. I just, you gotta, you just, you gotta make sure, and no one's saying have a bunch of money, just have enough, at least my personal opinion, a year worth of bills covered already that you're not touching, just sitting in an account. So if something happens, at least you know you're covered for at least a year um, with your bills. And you can even maybe take some of those bills away. Like if one of your bills is Netflix and you're not getting paid from YouTube, maybe shut off Netflix, that's 10 bucks you can save. Or maybe shut off Planet Fitness and you, you know, do the, HOE bath until you know you get your money back. That's 25 bucks a month you get to save. So, I mean, there are things you can do. You love the lives, Nomi. Can you do them once a week? <laughs> I can't do a live once a week. It is that's a lot. Oh, y'all would get so tired of me. I love your channel. Enjoy your time. Thank you, Kay. Kay's Creations. If I want to send you a gift, how do I do it? I don't post a post a PO box because um, I'm a minimalist and I would have so much anxiety because I know you guys are so generous and so giving and humble that you guys would send me really cool stuff and I just wouldn't have anywhere to put it. You're like, no, you have everywhere to put it. No, I don't. 
I don't have, leave my space alone. I'm not putting it anywhere. But I appreciate the thought though, thank you. Like cheese puffs, I love cheese puffs. I, that's my favorite chip, if that's even a chip. I can eat cheese puffs every day, a big bag. I'll finish it every day, every day, every day, every day. I go to the gas station, I don't even look at the chips because they got the cheese puffs up front because they know people like me are just gonna grab it. I, I spelt it, Faith Williams, I spelt it. I spelt it, the H-O-E bath. I mean, I've done it, I'm not afraid to admit it. The times where, you know, I ain't got time to go to Planet Fit. I'm not in a position to go to Planet Fit. So I do the H-O-E bath, it is what it is. Hit the hot spots and keep it moving. I have three dogs. They are my big experience. I bet. A bird bath. <laughs> yes, a bird bath. Absolutely. Spicy chips? No, I don't do spice with chips, which is weird. I mean, I can. I've tried the hot Cheetos. They're okay, but Cheeto Puffs keeps just drawing me back in. I just, I'm a Cheeto Puffs. I, that's what I love. Uh, Trina Girl, thank you so much for the 10. Safe travels and thanks for taking us on your journey. Thanks for supporting and watching and being interested. Um... I always try to film to give you guys the best experience, but going forward, leaving Florida, not right now, but once I get to my new state, I plan on purchasing a new camera because I want to give you guys the best experience possible going forward um, with my videos. I have been thinking, I'm still gonna film. I'm not gonna be adding a bunch of like music and all that, but I have been thinking just ways to give you guys the best experience uh, going forward. And if I do that, that means that my videos probably won't be as long as you're used to. Um, they might only be, you know, between 17 and 20 minutes, but it'll be a good 17 and 20 minutes uh, with, you know, not a lot of ads or anything like that. So, um, but the videos are, are good now and, you know, 30 or 40 minutes, or well, I do a lot, I do longer, like 40 to 50 something minutes. But I've thought about if I could do between 17 and 20, I can give you guys really good videos and maybe more videos, maybe. I want long vlogs. <laughs> Need merch, I love Nomadic Introvert shirt on a hat. I do have merch, I don't promote it like I should. If you go to my about section of this YouTube channel, you'll see a link for merch. You can check it out and see if there's anything you like. I love your channel. Thank you for sharing your travels. Thank you, Anointed Pearl. I appreciate the support. It means a lot to me. Yeah, I do have merch. I'm weird. I just, I don't promote. I don't, because I didn't start the YouTube channel for that. I just started it to sh show an alternative way of living. And I didn't think that people would like it, you know, my videos as, as much as y'all do, which really means a lot to me. So I, when it comes to like, promoting myself I do a crap job <laughs> I do I do a horrible job would you consider coming over to a veterans channel to tell your story nomadic if not I get it combat survivor thanks for the 10 uh, you mean like military story uh, I, I'd probably have to give it some thought on that you know because it was some pretty uh, uh, a lot of a lot of bad experiences good good for sure but yeah it was a lot but i would consider it i would definitely think about it i would definitely think about it for sure i would i wouldn't give you a straight no but i would think about it that's the best i could do silver-haired wolf thank you for the 10 i do see you in my comments a lot too thank you for your support so happy you're live hi i look so forward to your content weekly got my channel sticker i placed it on my macbook god bless on me oh thank you for supporting do you like the sticker okay cool thank you appreciate that i only did stickers because you're like no me don't forget stickers and i'm like oh i didn't know let me throw the stickers in there I live in California. Lake Arrowhead is Southern California, worth a drive up scenic route. Uh, 18, it's beautiful. If I, when I go to California, because I do plan on going to California. When I go to California, I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed with the northern half of California, the mountains half of California. Like, I'm obsessed with that. I don't know why. All of Arizona is not hot. Only Phoenix, Arizona is hot during the summer months only. Northern Arizona is not. I can only imagine. I bet it feels 
good up there in Northern. I'm from Santa Cruz. How about Oregon? I would love to go through Oregon. Has Oregon changed? I heard Oregon is, has changed a lot. Any vegetables lately? I do eat my vegetables. Um, I know I don't, it doesn't show that I cook a lot with them, but um, I do have an intolerance to raw vegetables. So that's why you don't really see me eat a lot of raw vegetables. I do substitute that with super greens. I drink that in orange juice or water. I don't show it, but I do drink my super greens. Um, and uh, I have been cooking a lot more with vegetables, spinach, uh, butternut squash, squash. I have been adding more vegetables into my diet. I did get my blood work done um, from my doctor when I told you guys every year I get blood work just to make sure all my levels are good make sure my my white blood cell count red blood cell count iron all of that stuff there's no surprise it's like something don't look right with your blood your white cell count is low and all that I, I check every year and my doctor told me if you don't hear from me in two days your blood work was good and I got urine uh, tested for anything that's bad there no call so Live to fight another year. My blood work is good. So I was, that was, it's always stressful for me to go get blood work because I just don't want any surprises. So live to fight another year. So I'm good so far, so good. And I do all that without eating a bunch of vegetables. I'm not advocating that you shouldn't do it, but I've started incorporating more vegetables in my diet. Janet Jackson doppelganger. It is the high cheekbones. I get that all of the time. Penny from good times is what I get. Safe travels, Priscilla. Thank you. Ah, oh, I see a lot of my comments too, Priscilla. Thank you for your support. I have stopped eating salmon because I found out that it is farmed salmon that uh, Publix sells. And I'm not advocating for you guys to stop. Please continue to eat salmon. I just don't want to eat farmed salmon. I want wild caught salmon and they don't have it. I asked Publix uh, seafood department, are they ever going to get local caught salmon? And they said, yes. I think they said next month sometime they're going to start having local salmon because more people are asking for it. So I stopped and I love the bourbon salmon, but it's farmed and I did my research on farmed salmon. I'm good on it. No, thank you. H-O-E bass. I love you spelled it out. That took me out. <laughs> Look, H-O-E. Costco's has wild salmon. Did not know. I don't have Costco's. I have Sam's Club. Try local seafood market. I never thought about that. Yeah, farm salmon. I, I'm sad because I love salmon and I miss the bourbon salmon. Let me fill my phone and see if it's overheating. Oh, uh-uh. Whoa, whoa, sorry about that. But I can't do farmed anymore. Just how, how they put those fish through all that. I don't want to deal with that. So that's, I'm, I feel bad because I do miss um i do miss the bourbon salmon so i know whoa i'm sorry for that i'm gonna stay on for two more minutes hello from hammond L la hey from la who's on your shirt tom brady and his wide receiver i forgot his name Oh, New Orleans, y'all not about to set me up for even more humidity. New Louisiana's, I think, the worst for humidity. It's It's got Florida beat by eons. Cold weather, Mariah's world. I will do cold weather all day, every day. Nomi cooking channel. Oh, I don't I don't cook that. I'm not good enough of a cook like that. I cook weird food. And it's weird to people, but it's one paw meals and it's good to me. Um, it makes sense if you think about the stuff that I add. It makes sense. It's all going in the same place. I do, my best friend, one of her friends, they don't like their food touching. So everything got to have its own separate, nothing can touch. Yeah, I can't read all the chats. I'm trying. I'm sorry. I, I have, I've been to Aldi once and I actually liked it. I only use the Greek yogurt with steak. I don't have to dip the steak in the Greek yogurt or the shrimp. I just have it as a side. Like I said, sometimes I will put, uh, do I have some? Let me show you. Uh, 
Uh, sometimes I'll add frozen raspberries uh, with some honey. It just depends. And then, you know, I, I eat this, you know. Wait a minute, girl, it says strawberry rose. What is rose? Does it, sm is it roses? Oh, I gotta try it. I thought it said strawberry, I just bought it. I'm gonna cry. I hope this doesn't taste like roses. Oh man, some people eat rose flavored things. I don't. Dang it, it says rose on it. I don't know, Nicole. I, I hope it doesn't taste like roses. Oh Lord. Oh, and then I opened it to smell it and can't get my money back. I, I'm, I would try it, but I'm fasting right now. Oh man, I didn't see it. Uh, you know what? Mm -mm. We gonna make it work because I'm not wasting now. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna figure it. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out. Do you take violins daily? I don't take them daily. Uh, I do take them throughout the week, but not daily. Um, iron. I don't do D vitamin D anymore because I'm in Florida. But I do iron. I do a B12 comp or not a B12. I do a B complex pill, which I used to do B12. Now a B complex pill. And then a multivitamin, I take magnesium. These are things I take throughout the week. Um, and that's it. Hey, Nomi, so glad you're uh, continuing to do well. Sending love and safe travels from Ohio. Thank you so much, Maria J. I appreciate the 40. Thank you. Uh, what else? And uh, occasionally I'll take a cranberry pill. It's good for your, um, your urinary tract. All of that stuff keeps it good. Uh, what brand for the B12? I don't do B12. I do a B complex. It uh, has everything, and I get it from, uh, what is it called? Um, I don't want to get up. GNC, GNC brand. I take women's one a day. I do have that. Love your channel from Senior Citizen Community. I'm seven years old. Seriously considering, uh, dang it, uh, van life in the next six months. And, of course, you're my inspiration selling this four-bedroom house bedroom house i would try whatever vehicle you're in just try that first and see how you like it and you're in florida too so you got to figure out a way to contend with that heat hi nomi i'll watch the replay if you post this later uh, i don't think i'm gonna leave it up uh there's a lot of tribulations in this one froze it's, i'll go live again and leave it up but this one i won't leave up i know it's a waste it's like what you're playing ads and everything what a waste i know Sometimes what I do doesn't make sense. Oh, like the wine? Hmm, if it's like the wine. No, I'm joking. I'll try it. Loving your channel. Thanks, uh, Angela Wilkinson. All right, fam, I'm out. I appreciate you guys hanging out. I mean, when I go live, fam, community, y'all show up and show out, you know? Uh, the chat was a lot slower today, which is cool. I do, I used to, I, use, I do take a D3. I don't take anymore. I do have vitamin D pills. I don't take them anymore because I've been in so much heat and sun and I just got my blood work and my doctor didn't call me back. So all of my levels are clearly good. Um, if, if the D was low or any of my levels were low, she would have called and said, hey, this is a little bit low. I'm gonna need you to start taking more of this, but she didn't. So I'm happy. I usually... She says two days. I usually give it three. So if I don't hear anything by um, by Monday, I'll be good. I just do one iron pill. I used to have uh, low iron, but uh, I've been really, you know, eating more red meat. Uh, I've been incorporating spinach more. I've been taking multivitamins more. So my levels are doing really well. And that's another thing when you're on the road fam if you don't have a way to have health insurance then i wouldn't start being on the road until you can figure out how you get your health insurance just because you live on the road don't give up your health insurance at the very least you need health insurance i'm very fortunate it's overheating so i'm gonna leave you guys before i cut out again yeah it's overheating it's hot i i'm gonna say goodbye to you uh let me put you out front hang it thank you fam for showing up it means the world to me I love you guys. You guys are freaking awesome. We have a heck of a community over here and we are building day by day because of you guys and your support. Um, 
just hang in there with me. I know some of these videos, I know my um, videos about generators and van problems aren't the most popular, but I just want y'all to see a realistic van life that I do have problems. It's not always good. I'm not always out seeing beaches and stuff. I'm chilling. I have a lot of down days. I'm, I'm chilling right now and I'm not always doing that, but I want y'all to see a, real, a realistic life. This is what it's like. I won't keep this up. I'm gonna take it down, delete it, and the next time I go live, I'll leave it up for you guys. I'm sorry if you guys wanted to watch the replay. This this live was a hot mess. I couldn't even, it just kept going in and out. And I appreciate you guys sticking with me through the hot mess. <laughs> I will definitely be safe. I appreciate you guys, the prayers, I see it all. It means the world to me. Thank you. Uh, we got a, an awesome freaking community. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thank you for all of those that donated. Uh, donations are not um, expected, but when I get them, I'm grateful because I know you guys worked hard for that and it means the world to me that you guys donated. Thank you so much. All of that goes back into the channel. Um, you guys are amazing. Thanks for hanging out with me. I love you and I will see you guys on my next live. This live will not be saved. Peace. Bye fam.